Hey everyone, uh, this is Dave, and welcome to the uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, we just uh, beat back the Mongols uh, at the forge. So now we have uh, the forge area. If you want to see what that, where that's at on the map, uh, it's right, it's right here. Boom. And um, we're actually headed to go do our first mythic tale, which is the heavenly, uh, the heavenly strike. That's what we will be getting, which is a very powerful uh, offensive move, uh, which can take it, can take guys down um, with one shot, uh, whether they're holding a shield or whatever. So that's pretty awesome. And then uh, Either we're going to start the recruit the Straw Hat Ronin, or we're going to try to find Lady uh, Masako and uh, finish that one out. So, all right. I appreciate everyone and love you tons. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, hit subscription. Hit the bell. This without you, boy. <laughs> it's a lot of hitting going on. But um, it does, uh, it definitely makes a difference uh, for sure. You guys see where you're going. Let me see if we can. Oh, that doesn't make any sense to fast travel. There's no place to fast travel. Yeah. All right, all right. So let's, uh, let's get it going. It does show up in the on the map. Okay. Hey You can pick stuff off. Who will face me first? Uh. See ya. how there are different stances to to go against different enemies. You must awesome. be all right. You must be the samurai who saved Komatsu Forge. I thought it was just a legend. They caught me at the crossroads north of Tsutsu. They take everyone who passes by. They're controlling the roads to capture travelers and put them to work. Is there anything that can stop them? I'll try. But avoid that crossroads for now. So where are they 
talking about? Oh, right here. I think. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is. Anyway, oh, is this it? Curse of... Oh. That's a mythic tale. Mmm, get a longbow. Mmm. All right, we'll see how how these mythic tales go. If they're really short, maybe we'll just, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, 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 just, we'll see. Cross? Cool. All right, we totally... Oh my gosh, we totally missed it. <laughs> ah! Come on, buddy. I know, I know. Found him before. Susano, protect me! Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first set on, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash, and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. So gorgeous. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. 
someone weeping. Where? Is she like right here? Or thought I'd have to uh No, oh, okay, there she is. My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Alright, so this is obviously a walking mission. Horse tracks. Yasuhiro was in a hurry. Oh, maybe not. What more do you know of Yasuhiro Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Tsushima Justice. Moon is <laughs> up ahead. They're constructing a roadblock. So dang bright. Investigate the path. Wait a minute. I gotta go back. <laughs> Let me get this real quick, lady. Alright, so what am I investigating? Follow the horse tracks. Okay. Mongols, hide yourself. Send your best warrior. Anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. 
Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. She can know to you. Uh, I wonder if that's Heavenly Strike. In Japanese, Nodi, I believe is prayer. Could it be heaven? I can't remember, it's been too long. Or a word for heaven. What has Yasuhira been doing? Leaves like those bleached by lightning in the tail. Mm. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. All right, go ahead and check up here. This is the watchtower, right? And uh, focus on something? Another watchtower? Seems like it's the highest watch tower. <laughs> I'm watching from it. Okay, I don't know. Let's, uh... A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Mm. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Oh, he will get punished. Need to find white-leafed trees. Oh, really? All, all my arrows? Just arrows, huh? Sheesh, give me some supplies. Anybody captured? I don't see anybody. Oh, nice. Okay, let's get my horse. Good Let's horse. go, buddy. Careful, my lord. This path is dangerous. Ooh. It's a shrine. Cool. Uh, but I think we need to... Investigate something. Oh, there's a yellow bird. Oh, crap. Do I need to investigate though? Of going across that because I think there's some kind of like grappling hook or something you get at some point. I definitely careful, need my that. lord. This path is dangerous.
Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Uh, let's read that. It's the heck of it. Twenty plum blossom shrine. It's actually a uh, kagakuchi. Tell me a fire. Just got a fire. Cool. I don't even know if we're going on the right area. Where are we going? Okay, it looks like we missed something for the white leafed tree. Okay. Alright, I gotta go back. Careful, my lord. This path is dangerous. Look at that. Tree. Show me your skill. Jump hard up to join. He's really close. Safe? I think so, my lord. But the Mongols are watching from the crossroads above the river. Anyone traveling north from Azmo is in danger. I'll see to the Mongols. Oh, my lord, this path is dangerous. supposed to go? Let's go up here.
Oh, cool. Go, uh... Dip on in that. Get some more health. And you get a nice butt shot again. <laughs> Saving my mother. Mother spent her last weeks in the hot springs. Even then, she'd never get her hair wet. Alright, just a little bit. Now, I wonder if I come back to this one and rest again, if it would um if it would increase my health again or if that's just like a one and done or maybe you can do it twice i don't know because i mean it gives you two options to reflect okay i want that Let's see what look for the white leafed tree i'm not seeing this white leaf tree anywhere all right so it's gotta be well this is a pretty big area so let's go over here Good so far. Oh no, I'm getting getting farther away from it. Okay. I've never seen that before. Chest? Cool. We'll get through this. I keep on wanting to hit my trigger button. To make my oh, there's a white tree. Oh, there's like tons of them. Uh, to make my horse go, but it's not. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. Oh! <laughs> 
хочет. Putting that double uh, that double dodge, I just I don't know. I guess I kind of like I know I want to dodge, so I just like hit it, and I just like kind of spam it. So then it gives me like the super huge dodge, which is like, not what I want. At least not yet. I don't have a fast way of getting back to the person. <laughs> so it's like, I'm just uh, wasting my, my movement there. Oh, is there a flower down there? Samurai fights the vigor of youth. Stand off. Come on. Get a shield.
was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, mm. save him. So here I cannot learn the heavenly strike. That little fox. Hey little fox, where are you going? I'll follow you. Jump down this way. Hey, wait a minute. tree down in order to cross. Oh. 
Okay. I was going to crash it. Yes, we should have brought Mongols with him. Stand and fight me! I can't even use my kunai knives. That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Guess we're gonna face off. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Oh boy, there he is. Yasuhira Kuga, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. <laughs> Let's go. What are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Alright, I almost got him. I've got it. What? <laughs> the heavenly strike couldn't save you. <laughs> it's struck, struck by lightning. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's going to happen. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to happen every time, but... <laughs> that was cool. Alright. 
Let's go see if he has any dying breaths or anything. Now he's dead. Okay. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Heavenly Falcon, strike without warning, like the hunter of the skies. So, what do I need to do with this? Strike without warning, like the hunter in the skies. So that's the one I'm using. Okay. Oh, that's that's uh, that's the one I picked up. Uh, even the oldest. So what does that do for us? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. I don't know. I guess. So this is a good one to get because it gives you, like when you get killed, like normally when you get, when you get killed, you go down, but this one will give you like a second chance to, to get up, to do something. Oh boy. That was, that took up two of my technique points. Wait until the enemy attacks. Press triangle or square as they're swinging. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you briefly slow time while aiming. Okay, yeah. Not enough points. Ooh, that would have been nice. Hmm. Maybe... I'm close to this one. Cool. Oh, 
we'll try the standoff streak. I mean, like, why not, right? And this ghost weapon is going to be the the bomb, the smoke bomb. Because I guess there's a charm you can put on this that every time you drop it, it gives you um, life back. And then, of course, once everyone's staggered, you can just uh, assassinate them <laughs> or just take them out really easy. And, uh, oh, okay, so I guess it's not a charm. You just have to uh, get it to that point. So next time I am able to get a ghost weapon, I am definitely doing the bomb. <sighs> the bomb. All right. I think. Get this. All right, well, that actually took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm just going to break these videos up into like specific like I'm, I've got like specific mythic tales and then depending on how long the regular tale is um, just focus on one thing, right? Instead of trying to do a bunch of different things. So uh I'm, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm, I'm going to call it right now. And uh, so I thank everyone for joining me today. And I hope you like the series. If you do, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. And, uh, you know, tap that bell. Tap it real good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So... I do appreciate everybody, and I love you tons. Until we meet again, stay safe. Bye.